Well, my friends, I highly doubt I'm the first person making an Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. Whoa, <laughs> I already messed up. Ulta semi-annual sale video? Can you believe it? Can, can you believe these changes? I can't. I cannot believe it. If you are not just stumbling upon this video, then you know that we have done videos covering the Ulta sale, let's call it, for years on this channel, and I have never seen a change of this magnitude. I don't want to spend a lot of time going over the basics because again, I know I'm not going to be the first, so by now, you probably already know the basics. Instead, I would rather give you some pros and cons of this new sale system, some suggestions. And then we're gonna do what we've always done. There will be timestamps and links in the description box below to every item in this upcoming week's sale, which starts on Friday. I did not know that this sale starts today, today when I'm uploading this video, until I started making my own little graphics for it. I thought it started on Sunday. That's a very big change. So I just wanna have a chat about some thoughts, some pros and cons. Let's start as an optimist here, let's start with some pros. First of all, I have to say it is so funny as somebody who has done this exact format of video for at least five years, I don't wanna count, I don't wanna drift into existentialism. You know I'm capable of it. It's been a long time and I've done it this way for a specific reason. You see, by going over all of the items that will be in the upcoming week, it allows us to really explore everything more. In contrast to kind of just finding your favorites, noting those days, and buying those items. You can be a lot more experimental. In short, I feel this sale format actually is great if you are somebody who wants to try new things, to branch out a bit, see what else is out there. If that is your personality in buying beauty products, I don't think you will mind this new format at all. I also want to say, oh my gosh, this format is incredible for spending points. Those of you that are dragons sitting on your hoard of points, please spend them in this sale. This is going to be the perfect opportunity because there are so many items in this sale that will be 50% off that you can easily make a cart of $250 worth of products, spend 2,000 points, and you know, you just cannot come close to that kind of reward system anywhere else. If you don't get what I'm talking about, please go watch, you just have to watch the intro of my video explaining Alta points. Three minutes long, is it even three minutes? Go watch that, you will understand. We also do have free shipping. I know a lot of people were concerned about this, but in an email that Alta sent out, point number six says, if you are diamond or platinum, you will get free shipping. Thank goodness if they didn't do that, Ooh, I was prepared to be more upset, let me tell you. And finally, there is a lot more in this sale. There is fragrance, there is hair care, it's all in one place. It's a lot. It's kind of an exciting sale. But your girl has a list of cons. I absolutely feel that this format is not conducive to budgeting. If you are somebody who has always used the 21 days of beauty to, you know, look for the items that you need. Maybe you have a basic skincare routine, cleanser, moisturizer, sunscreen. You could look at everything all at once and make your choices. Okay, I'll go with this cleanser, this moisturizer, and this sunscreen. Boom, done. Because of this new system, you can try to do that, but what if next week's deals are better? What if you settle on something in week one, but your favorite item is actually 50% off in week two? Proposed solution. My proposed solution to you is if Alta's gonna do this kind of system, use your right to make returns. You can even be environmentally friendly, hold on to the items that you buy in week one, don't open them yet. If something better comes up in week two or in week three, take the unopened items right into Alta and get your money back. Which brings me into what feels like the biggest con to me personally as a content creator. I find that this new format is really pushing me into quantity over quality. Am I the only content creator that is a little bit flustered by this? You know, I found out the deals yesterday. I'm sitting down today to film a video about them. That's not enough time for me to really sit over here and think about everything the way that I always have in the past. It reminds me of how I often hear people talk about how they want to find content creators that are honest. And of course, who doesn't? But you also want to find a content creator 
that is thorough. Because a creator can say, these are good products and these are bad products, but if they don't explain why, you could be missing out on products that really align with your own personal preferences, your skin type, all the factors that go into what makes a person like a specific product. And I, a thinker, like to meditate on all of this before I make my videos. I am forced to really give you, uh, you know, not really first impressions, but not as thorough of thoughts as I prefer to do. Which is why I would like to reiterate, as always, I welcome feedback because of what I was just describing. In addition to that, because this sale now includes fragrance as well as hair care, I have to admit to you, I am going to be strongest in skincare and makeup. When it comes to hair care, listen, I'm sitting here in a wig. Do I really need to say more? Whereas before, I covered Love Your Skin in 21 Days of Beauty and dipped out for the gorgeous hair event. Which brings me into the final points that I want to make before we get into the video itself. As I always say, if this is not a good time for you to shop, I really want you to know this is not going to be the only Ulta sale. There will always be more sales. The sales will be waiting for you when you do have more money to shop, when you have finished off some products perhaps. I've seen people, you know, worried that this is the end of the gorgeous hair event. It may be, but let me tell you, it is not the end of Ulta sales. Alta will always run sales. So please never feel FOMO over these sales. I personally am not gonna be able to shop as much in this sale either because I just had a mouse situation. <laughs> One tiny mouse, I'm not even sure I'm done paying for it actually. I've spent over an Alta diamond so far, but I am not gonna worry about it because I know this. And if I know this, I wanna make sure to convey it to you so you don't have to worry either. And listen, if it is a good time to shop, it's a nice sale. I hope you enjoy shopping. Make sure to use Rakuten so you can get some cash back. I finally have an answer to whether um, affiliate links work with cash back, and the answer is sometimes. On my affiliate network, yes, affiliates do earn the commission as well as Rakuten customers getting their cash back. If you're a creator and you're interested, I'll link the network below, it's Howl. I have one more thing to say and then I promise we are going to get into this week's deals. So I was looking through the preview, have you all looked at the preview? And it feels like such utter chaos that I've decided to make my own graphics for this. I am hoping that this is more helpful to you, I'll put up Friday so you can see what I'm talking about. I noticed that on one day there are 49 items. Alta, you said this was to not overwhelm us. 49 items, no, more than 49 items because they have online only and uh, in-store and online. So I'm doing this, hopefully this makes sense. Uh, we're just gonna kind of lump together things so that it just looks more clear. And if you don't recognize the pictures, don't worry about it because we're gonna talk about everything. I hope you find that helpful. If you do like it, I will also make sure to put that up on my Instagram stories. I am Alice in the Rabbit Hole on Instagram. So let's get into it. Friday, March 8th is what you are looking at. We are starting with Estee Lauder's Advanced Night Repair. This is a product that is based around bifida ferment lysate. <laughs> Gotta make sure I get it right. Not the filtrate, the lysate is the version that has the most research behind it. It's an ingredient that is great for dryness and is great for skin health as a whole, your skin barrier. This is a product where I use the dupe. I use Monyo's product. I'll link you a video if you're interested and that works great for me, but I've stopped talking that much about skincare dupes. Dupes work for some people. This is a good example for me. I like this product, but the Manyo does the same thing for my skin personally. This isn't true for everyone. I've definitely seen a lot of people go on a dupe quest where they keep trying to save themselves money, but in the end, they've just spent a lot of extra money on products that didn't actually work as well for them as the original. I'm saying all of this because while I know some people also love the dupes, I've talked to people for whom the dupes just didn't do as much. So if that is you, this is a good time to buy, and also there is a duo available at a discount, so you can get a pretty good deal on two full-size bottles on this day. We have the Peach and Lily Gel Cleanser. This is a great cleanser, and this is a great price for it. Typically, I love my drugstore cleansers, but this is a sale where 
this is drugstore pricing. Tula has their 24-7 moisture cream in this, and I'm a little flustered with them. I'm a little flustered with them. We just talked about how Tula finally has released fragrance-free versions of their products, including this one. But the fragrance-free version is not in the sale. It's not... What? 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 What are we doing, Tula? Put it in the sale. I would love to try it. Tarte Maneater Mascara, as well as the waterproof version. This is a plastic bristle brush, so if you are somebody who really hates clumps, you might really like this mascara. A lot of the contributing factor here is the wand. The wands play a big role, and plastic bristles are incredible for separation. And then we have four options from IGK's Good Behavior line, where, as previously mentioned, I'm just not going to be able to help you much with that. Online-only deals. We have five options of the Beekman boosters, I believe they call these. Beekman 1802 is a brand that I tried and didn't stick with. I didn't love it. I actually found it to be a little irritating for me. It's one of those brands where I understand why some people like it. I think that goat milk can really be a different ingredient for some people. The fatty composition of goat's milk is different, and I think that can really benefit some people. A couple of items from Anastasia Beverly Hills, who I do not buy from anymore. We are definitely going to mention things like that through this video. Nine options from Clinique. Clinique's an OG, fragrance-free brand. I respect them for that. They don't really make a lot of favorites for me, but I respect them. And if you are a fan, nine options on this day. Products from It's a Tin as well as Redken and a blow dryer with attachments. Nifty. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard, but I'm just not helpful with the hair. I know. I, let it go. Just accept it, Alice. On Saturday, March 9th, we have the Benefit Hula Bronzer. This one is fine. I feel like it leans a little bit orange for my taste, but it's a classic. A lot of people love it. The NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I always think about buying these concealers in a pot because I do know that they work really well for coverage. Wait a minute. Didn't Michaela go viral because of this exactly? Not necessarily this product, but isn't this the reason she got so big? She was showing how to hide pimples with a pot concealer. Because yes, they're super high coverage. Pair that with the powder, you can hide a pimple. Do I have the right person? Is it Michaela? Well, this feels like it was so long ago. Anyway, I haven't tried this, but those do tend to be good for extra high coverage. Better than a liquid concealer, better than a liquid foundation. Three of the Ulta brushes. I love these, but I'm shocked, flustered by how much they are divided across days. If you want to pick some of these up, and they are all, I like all of the IT brushes for Ulta that I have. I think the trick is to ask yourself how you do your makeup, what brushes will be most useful, most useful for you personally. But for some reason, it's not one day where you pick these brushes. They're, they're thrown across three days this week. I don't get it. I think they're all constructed well. It's just a matter of figuring out your own preferences. We have some Pureology, five items from Fenty Beauty. I, I'm so excited about this. I probably will end up buying this blush right here. It's supposed to be one of those pH adjusting blushes, which is a little bit of a gimmick, don't get me wrong, but it also seems kind of fun. I uh, can't believe I still have these. I, I was looking at the items available going, do I still have those? If I do, I probably shouldn't use them. <laughs> still smells better than that Elemis from my empties video. It is a cute system unless you have trypophobia probably. They have contour and highlighter sticks, and I do like them. I actually really liked the shade Amber. Here's a swatch of Amber, so you can see it's actually quite a nice, cooler tone. What you should know with these, though, and the reason I never finished mine, is that using contour and highlighter is something you probably really need to do if you are wearing high coverage foundation. I mean, you never need to do anything with makeup, but it'll make your face make more sense <laughs> because a high coverage foundation takes out all of the shadows whereas if you instead use something like a skin tint you probably don't need contour so yeah that's why i stopped using these i did like them though fenty's a great brand clarins double serum that's a serum that i really did like back in the day but at this point i just feel i have a lot of products that kind of do what that one does in fact the uh the merit oh <laughs> 
I was about to tell you the Merit serum kind of reminds me of the double serum, but I forgot about the Merit drama that's ongoing right now. There's a lot of drama. There's always a lot of drama in beauty. The Billie Eilish fragrance is in the sale at 50% off, and I have to confess to you all, I've talked a lot about how I don't like buying full sizes of fragrance because I'm just somebody who has, you know, a personality where I like to smell the way I feel, which changes from day to day. This is the only time that I can think of where I've actually regretted buying a small size. This isn't even the smallest size. I bought the one ounce size, but I love this so much. Again, fragrance isn't my strongest category. I've said I tend to reduce fragrances down to one word, and you know what? In a video like this, I'm just gonna roll with it. This smells like dessert. Online only, this we can probably get through quickly. Two items from Morphe. Are people still using Morphe? An item from Diva Curl. Are people still using Diva Curl? I heard something happened with them. Bumble and Bumble, only one item. The Hairdresser Invisible Oil. It's the frizz reducing variety. And then we have both a face palette as well as a brush from Iconic London. Moving on to March 10th, in store and online, we have the Olaplex number no. six, which is the mask. I love Olaplex, it works really well for me. I have bleached my hair a lot, and Olaplex works for me. I know it's a controversial brand, but what isn't? <laughs> MAC Studio Fix Powder. A lot of people use powder foundation because it is actually quite easy to use, and it can look really nice. We have the Beauty Blender Puff. I bought one of these a long time ago. I am now on my second one. I like these. I really do like this. It's great for precision powder. The only thing I will tell you is that you do have options in this world. This is one from Flower Nose, and it is quite nice as well. A little bit smaller, obviously, but I kind of like the size. I do like this, though. It's really good for light powder. You would think it'd be the opposite. You would think that it would really bake a lot on, but you can pick up a tiny amount of powder, really blend it into your skin easily with this. It, it works great. It, it works very well with powders. The Peach and Lily Ginger Cleansing Oil, which I still haven't tried. I know. Cleansing oils are a great option for makeup removal. The MAC Hyper Real Serumizer, still haven't tried it. And we have three brushes from it for Ulta today, you see what I'm talking about. I know this one is included, the number 115. This is a flat brush. I like this for pressed powder. Loose powder, pressed powder. Again, with makeup brushes, it, it really will help you to figure out what it is that you are looking for in a brush. Online only deals. We have eight, eight dry shampoos from Chlorine, and I would like to take a moment to recommend to you the non-aerosol version. Not only because, guess who's back? back again. <laughs> Benzene's back. We don't have time for that today. We do not have time for benzene today. I will tell you that initially I did buy these non-aerosol shampoos because I like to minimize my exposure to benzene. I am clearly not a clean beauty only person, but I am somebody who'd like to minimize my risk. But that's not where I'm going with this. There was a very amazing side effect that happened for me in buying the non-aerosol dry shampoos. I used to go through a, a full-size aerosol dry shampoo about every three weeks. It's my oily scalp. I have an oily scalp and I have very fine hair and it looks dirty three to four hours after I wash it. I'm not exaggerating. Some people probably think I'm exaggerating, but I'm not. I really needed that much dry shampoo. When I switched to non-aerosol, I started saving so much money. One of those lasts me at least four to five months, probably more like six months. My costs have dropped in a way that I just never thought was possible. Do the math, think about how many hundreds of dollars I'm saving by making this switch. Absolutely try a non-aerosol dry shampoo if you are like me and going through bottle after bottle of aerosol dry shampoo. It is initially messy, you do have to figure it out, but it is so worth the learning curve. Better Not Younger Hair Treatment. This is one of those thickening products. I do use those because I have fine hair, so I might, I might try this. The Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. 
SPF 25 is included. I saw a lot of people are excited about this. The foundation that went viral, I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. My problem with Laura Mercier is that it doesn't seem like she has a good shade for me. I feel like the shades might be a little more saturated. It might be that issue again. It's just always slightly off on me. My skin is desaturated. It's got a little bit of olive in it. It's got a little bit of gray in it. So I'm gonna skip it, but I know a lot of people do really like Laura Mercier's complexion products. It Cosmetics Superhero No Tug Eyeshadow Sticks. I haven't tried those. Feel free to comment if you have. Kiehl's Retinol Skin Renewing Daily Microdose Serum. Retinol is a great ingredient to use. I have not tried that specific product. And then the First Aid Beauty Ingrown Hair Pads. Those are using BHA as well as AHA. I'm assuming the principle is to increase skin turnover, which by extension would prevent hair from growing inward. It would instead grow outward. It's hard not to feel like Alta was feeling a little sleepy when they made the list for Monday, March 11th. So everything that's in their picture is what's included in store and online. The Madison Reed hair color, Grande Brow, Stila's liquid liner and purity cleanser. That's it, that's everything. It's a big contrast to those days with a lot of products, isn't it? In online only, we have 15 items from the brand BioSilk, two items from Aquage and Grande hair on the topic of Grande. Drama. More drama. <laughs> Grande Cosmetics just had to pay out a lawsuit for not disclosing properly their prostaglandin analogs. Should I say allegedly? Allegedly. I do have my own experiences with these. I'll link you a video if you are interested. I uh, won't use them anymore. I got irritation. The Sasho lip liner is included online only. I've heard a lot about that, but that's one of those products where it feels gimmicky in a way that I'm not sure I would keep using it. I guess you put it on and then you peel it off and it leaves a stain behind. Why not just use a stain? Maybe I'm missing something. Y'all can always, again, feel free to comment if you have experience with this or know more about it. We have a pressed powder from Pure and we have the Dime uh, Restorative Night Cream. You know what? If you are looking for a night cream, this might actually be a nice option. It will be $19 in the sale. It's fragrance free, straightforward, doesn't seem to have a lot of potential allergens. That actually looks pretty nice. I am perplexed as to why they improved their packaging by going from a pump to a jar. <laughs> why am I saying I'm surprised? There are actually surveys that have been done on the population. More people do prefer jar packaging. It's one of those things where the deep in the skincare community, people are shocked by this, but yeah, that's what most people prefer. Tuesday, March 12th, we have a lot of about face. This is the only day where I wasn't sure how to divide up these. There are nine products from about face and six of their brushes. I've never seen their brushes included in this sale. Actually, are the brushes new? They might be new. I am wearing one of the fractal eye paints today. These are so beautiful. This is such a good brand. They're already more affordable. Their products are incredible. Oh yeah, I'm actually wearing the eyeliners too. I did a haul of my last fall 21 days of beauty in which I bought these. I'll link it if you're interested. But I have been very happy with my About Face items. I think they are a wonderful brand. Two varieties of the KP Body Scrub from First Aid Beauty. You can also get the scented strawberry version, a Redken hairspray, and the Lip Tinted Hue Guard. I'm wearing this. I really like this. It is a sunscreen that is SPF 30. I know some of you prefer an SPF of 50, but SPF of 30 can be a good level depending on your needs. Sunscreen is one of those categories where I feel it's so personal. I, I think that we forget this sometimes in the skincare enthusiast communities. We forget that there are a lot of people who are not wearing sunscreen at all. So yes, SPF 30 is better than no sunscreen and it is enough for a lot of people. I wanted to show you how this blends out though because it does look pretty orange. It's a mineral sunscreen where they added some sea buckthorn oil and I think that's what gives it that tint, but it actually does blend into your skin. Can you see that? Can you kind of, can you see? It looks a little shiny because it is now setting, but yeah, it actually, it blends away. Meaning that in spite of looking orange when you first pump it out, I feel that your skin kind of absorbs that sea buckthorn oil and doesn't leave behind an orange tint. 
or I would not be a fan of it. <laughs> Five items from Ofra, another brand that I do not buy from, and the Virtue Healing Oil. And for, for once, I have a hair care product to pull out for you. They, I think they sent this to me. I think I got this a long time ago. <laughs> it's a whole story, so I really liked it. I was using it for a couple months and I decided I don't wanna run out of this, so I restocked it. I bought it in January, I bought my second one in January of 2023. It is now March of 2024, in case you don't know. And I'm still trying to finish my first bottle. I'm still, tr it's so funny though, because Virtue has hair masks also, and I like those, but I plow through them. Whereas this, <laughs> you know how in our empties video, we talked about how brands need to size things in a way that makes sense. I feel like, I don't know if they sized this one well, but it benefits us. <laughs> it's lasting me absolutely forever. I use a tiny amount of this. You have to shake it up first. I use a tiny amount of this before I blow dry my hair. It's a great healing oil, as it says. One of my favorite products. One of few products that I use every wash day. Four items from Curlsmith. The Kinship Bright Wave Eye Cream. I liked this. What I will tell you about this is it reminds me a lot of the Ule Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. That one didn't work for a lot of people, but if you like the concept of it, the tint in it that gently brightens your under eye area in an eye cream, you might like this one. That said, I've noticed a lot of brands are releasing these uh, softly tinted eye creams, so you get some cosmetic impact in your skincare for both long-term and immediate results. So that may not be your only option. And then finally, the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. I didn't buy from this brand for a while because their former CEO had said some really terrible things about Korean people. I'm happy to now tell you that he has stepped down. And I will tell you, I have tried that cleansing oil. It's a heavier cleansing oil. Definitely heavier, but I do see the appeal in that one as well. It's been a while since I've used it, so feel free to comment if you've used it more recently, but I do remember it being very effective at removing makeup. Wednesday, March 13th, we have a lot of Eva NYC on this day. Some are online only and some are in-store and online. We also have two more brushes. From IT Cosmetics for Ulta, you see what I'm talking about. This one does include one of my personal favorites, the Airbrush OMG Foundation Brush. I used this again today, so it's a little dirty at the moment, but this is one of my personal favorites. I like this one because I've always liked a good paddle brush, and it gives you a little bit of buffing as you run the brush across your skin. KVD Good Apple Foundation. I'm still scarred by the balm, which I personally <laughs> did not like. Your girl actually has some PR for this video. Smashbox sent me their entire photo finish primer lineup. You know, it's so funny. I bought all of these in the past, not the new packaging, but the old versions. It's so funny to now have them send me these. I just never knew the day would come. I like these. You get five different options. All of them are included on this day. The original photo finish is your basic silicone primer, but it has a little bit of a lighter texture to it. So it's not quite as uh, pore filling as something like Benefits Professional, but that also makes it easier to work with. And I actually used the mattifying primer today because Wonders never cease. I have dry skin, but I do prefer a matte finish. <laughs> and that's hard for me to achieve because my skincare routine is deeply moisturizing. Uh, I also like the Photo Finish Correct Anti-Redness Primer. This is great if you have redness. It is a very green, very green primer. Look at how green that is. So what you can do is apply this wherever you have redness and it will by color theory, work to cancel it out. And keep in mind that you can always mix and match primers. Back when my skin was really bad, I used to always use multiple primers. From Beauty Bio, this looks like one of those uh, clarifying tools for your pores. I don't personally use these. I have small pores because I have dry skin. That tends to be the way things go. Feel free to comment if you have tried that, but overall, I'm not really the biggest fan of that product category. I love my tools. I love my skincare devices. We just talked about them, but uh, not, not, not this category, at least personally. I do, however, absolutely love the Kopari Golden Aura Body Oil. This was sent to me as well. This is such a nice oil. It has Kopari's character scent in it. it. Smells amazing, but it is light, and I really appreciate that because I'm somebody who does often ask myself things like, do I smell too strongly? <laughs> 
what if other people don't like how I smell? I mean in terms of fragrance. I take two showers a day like everyone else. <laughs> okay, sometimes one bath. Is that a normal thing? That's very normal in the American South. Everyone takes at least two showers a day. Some people take three. Online only deals, the Kosarex Niacinamide 15. I have not tried that, although I actually was pretty impressed by their hyaluronic acid version. Didn't love the vitamin C though. Not that this matters, these aren't included in the sale. We're getting sidetracked. <laughs> Two products from Belief, which I've talked about before. There's the rest of the Eva NYC. Five products from Wella and a MAC Paint Pot. Do you need MAC's Paint Pot in 2024? I do like MAC Paint Pots. Actually, I feel like this, this maybe deserves more attention in 2024 because people aren't really doing as much intense eyeshadow looks. You don't see people using palettes as much and you can just swipe and go these MAC Paint Pots. And back in the day, people used to use them as eyeshadow base, but you can wear them on their own. Yeah, I'm actually officially surprised I don't hear more about those now that I think about it. And our final day for week number one, we have four items from Kenra. Funny enough, I actually am currently using this uh, um, a hairspray. <laughs> Forgot what it was called for a moment. That's okay. But I do feel like I've, I feel like I've been on the quest for the perfect hairspray for several years now. For several years. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll find it. We have a highlighter from R Rim. It's Rim, right? Or is it R-E-M? What do you know? One more IT Cosmetics for Ultra Brush. You see what I'm talking about now? You see. We have Too Faced blushes, and once again, I have good news for you. If you were uncomfortable buying from Too Faced because you didn't want to support Jared Blandino, he has stepped down. You can now buy Too Faced without thinking about the Rich Lives Matter cake. That man really thought that was a good idea. He really thought that. I've heard a lot of good things about these blushes, and I might even try one. I might. Let me know if you have thoughts on that. The Derma Flash, why did I not grab mine? Hold on. I bought this a while ago and honestly, I don't really use it for the same reasons that I was telling you about with the Beauty Bio device, but I've had this long enough and it's been in the sale long enough that we've had some feedback. And some of you have told me that you actually do like to use this for blackheads, which I don't deal with. Some of you have told me you use this to infuse. There is an infuse option here to help with pushing products deeper into your skin. I use the Medicube Booster Pro now. So again, important questions to ask yourself with any skincare device is, is it really tailored for your needs? And I didn't need to buy this. I could have thought it through, I didn't. Now I will hopefully help you. I, I definitely can see why some people would like it, but it won't be for everyone. And then we have three items from Exuvians, including the Performance Peel AP25. I tried that a while ago and I liked it. It's a bit of a gentler alternative to something like the Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads. And in the online only section, I would like to let you know that is in fact not a typo. There are 31 items from AG Hair on this day. I used to use their purple shampoo. I, I used to, I moved on to Bumble and Bumble, but I did like that. Feel free to comment if you have any thoughts on any of the hair care. If you can believe me, that item next to it is Hot Rollers, yes looks very different from my mom's hot rollers growing up. We have seven Ico mascaras, and I remember actually liking an I Ico mascara. It's been a long time, so it is very not fresh on my mind, but if any of you like these mascaras, please feel free to share your thoughts. Uh, I think that this might be a, a bit of a hidden gem. I just don't remember well enough. We have the Derma Blend Flawless Creator Foundation Drops. Just keep in mind, you gotta ask yourself, are you really going to use these? This is a great tool for professionals, but I found on a daily basis, I want a foundation that I can just grab and go. All the mixing stuff sounds really fun, but I found I just didn't do it. Urban, Urban Decay is still doing their thing, apparently. I feel like if I say this product name, I'll get demonetized. I don't know what that is, though. I, I really don't even know what that is. Is that a concealer? Y'all remember the heyday of Urban Decay? Do you remember? And our last product for week number one, last 
cluster of products. We have some Kate Somerville, including the Exfolicate, as well as Eradicate. I wanted to include Eradicate in the images because I actually like that product. If you do deal with acne, this is a spot treatment. So even though it's a bit drying, you're only treating your pimples with it. And it's using 10% sulfur. I also found Kate Somerville's lasts a lot longer than Mario Badescu's and might even work a bit better. That's it. That's everything in week number one. Was it long? It was a lot of products. You already know because I've said it a million times in this video, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I will make sure to link whatever I can link. I don't quite yet know how they're going to lay these out, <laughs> but I will try to make the description box as helpful as possible and include what I'm wearing and all that jazz. But thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, Make sure to come back for weeks two and three. I hope you all have a most wonderful weekend, and I will see you all next time.